おはよう。おはよう。あの、こんばんは。おはよう、こんばんは、こんばんは。What's up, dude? Hey, long time dude. no chat. I know, it's been so long. <laughs> Yoshi, did you know that you pretty much play a massive role starting my career? In, in starting my that career? That is so sweet of you to say, but honestly, it's all you. I don't think I did anything that you wouldn't have done by yourself. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, okay, so, but, but when but it I comes down. <laughs> but let's start from the very beginning from when Yoshi and I first met, shall we? Yeah, let's do that. Oh my god, that was ages ago because you've been in the entertainment sort of like live shows, I guess, before all that, right? Uh, kind of. Kind, kind of, kind of. What year was that? I can pull it up like, right now. Hold on. I have it. I have it. Hold on. I just got to go to my okay. Facebook. Oh, yes. And Yoshi is the, the blue Power Ranger. Like, he is legitimately a Power Ranger. Like, on I TV am. and everything. Like, this dude is legit. <laughs> We met in 2011. I added you on, it looks like it says here, June 30th, 2011. Back then in like, I started go-go dancing in 2009 and I started go-go dancing and, and performing for a company called Insomniac Events who throws the biggest raves in North America, the biggest like electric daisy carnival and all that. And for the longest time, I was the only asian oh yeah i was the only asian for i want to say like two or three years or so one year while i was performing at edc i pulled in to the the venue because we had to show up very early before the doors open and everything and then i i looked around in our giant dressing room the the the, the uh the dome that we have this, this giant dressing room that had like what like a hundred something people and i looked over and i saw yoshi and peter and i was like <gasps> Asians, there's more of That's, us. I didn't know that. Oh, I didn't, didn't know, know that. that side. <laughs> no, I had no idea. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. So how, how did you get pulled into EDC? So, okay, so I'm looking now. Okay, I'm going to have to pull up the photo. I was going to ask wow, you if I'm oh allowed to show God. the photo too. Yeah, whatever, okay. whatever. Who cares? It's old, but like, oh my God, we were children. We were kids we were children so this is the first photo of yoshi and i have ever taken together back in 2011 when yes. we first met i was straight up stick and bones <laughs> oh my god i mean I compared to how like... jacked you are now sure but you were still very fit back then mm. <laughs> but i was like maybe 145 pounds like <laughs> wet soaking wet this was I think I was still in college. I was getting out of college. I was getting out of college, 2011. Um, I had just kind of started peeking into like like live shows and uh, events and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And a friend of mine does dragon dancing and lion dance for mm -hmm. the EDC stuff. So he mm -hmm. hired me to do like costumes. So then I brought in a bunch of my friends. I brought Manny in, I brought Peter in. Peter and Manny, so that's, uh, I brought those guys in and then it was the three of us. We drove all the way to Vegas for this job. And then that's where I met Gina. I met like two people there that I became friends with. One of them is Christina Basquette, who is now like a very, like world renowned stunt performer. She doubled on like Game of Thrones and all this stuff. She Ooh. was like the top girl for that. And then the other person is Gina. <laughs> and and honestly, I don't remember how we like, I think it was also subconsciously for me was seeing another Asian person mm -hmm. on this like space and being like, hi, <laughs> nice to meet you. Because I wasn't very like outgoing, really. I don't know who said hi first. Do you remember? I, I really don't. I just remember that it was during like our breaks when this was like the dining yeah. area, the picture that I'm looking at right now. Yeah, I, and this I is like say you second night or third night or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I might, I might have because I was trying to be more like outgoing. Because mm -hmm. um, I remember I was flipping around. This is for sure the second or third night because th my face. Do you see it? Can you zoom in? I into remember that? you I don't got, know if you're you got on your eye. You got injured. So. Yes. So I do this move where I do a, a wall flip off of somebody's hand. Really, honestly, I just need like very minimal amount of force against my foot and then I can get around. So I did it with him a couple times. And then one of the times that we did it, he saw a girl and moved his hand. And so I slipped and fell on my face and that's carpet rug burn mm -hmm. on my eyes. <laughs> 
It might have been Gina that, that, that he was looking at. It might have been no, Gina's fault, actually. No, no, no. There were it's a lot. probably Gina's fault. No, there was a lot of incredibly gorgeous women there. But I think you came up to me and introduced yourself. I probably did. Yeah, I think I might have. I think I might have. Mm -hmm. And oh my goodness, that's so crazy. Because you don't even look like that anymore. <laughs> yeah, it was wild because this was like, we, we didn't look like ourselves, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was in a costume. <gasps> Wait. I have the other picture you... I'm going to show to you. Huh? What? Did you, did you already post it? No, not yet. Which I, one? I pulled up this. Oh, okay. Yeah. In the in the dining area. I remember, I think I think it was Yoshi that came up to me and introduced himself. And I remember thinking, well, this guy is so nice. And oh. um, this was the year that I was a cyber angel. So we, we get we get separated into different performance groups. Like one year I was a clown. This year I was a cyber angel. And I remember seeing Yoshi and Peter. I was like, oh, my God, there's more Asians here. This is so cool. And we met in the dining area. We hit it off right away. Yoshi is the friendliest yeah. guy you'll ever meet. I was talking yeah. to James yesterday. I remember James saying, like, you would you would expect that Yoshi, this tall, beautiful, jacked guy, to be an absolute douchebag. But he'll come up to you and be like, hi, my name is Yoshi. And he's just the sweetest thing in the whole entire world. And it's not even like a, like a hey, I'm trying to hit on you. A, a legitimate, like, very friendly, hi, I'm Yoshi. Let's be friends. And like, it was just so <laughs> dumb and fun. You can tell by our giant smiles. It was very, very genuine smiles. And we just hit it off. Yeah. Super nice. And he is so, so you were an acrobat performer, but then you were also um, in, 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 in a, costumes, a yeah. costume. He was a very fucking cute squid. <laughs> this is him in his squid costume. And Wait, you have it up? How do I? I it up on my stream. He was oh, a... Let me see if I can find it. <laughs> It was a giant pink squid. It was so cute. So as you can see there, I was in all my my, my full silver cyber angels, like um like like my yes, silver wings and everything. Me. And there's silver. Uh, there's and there's P. Or, I'm sorry, sorry, Yoshi in his pink squid costume. It was so cute. And he was running around flailing his tentacles. It was adorable. Um, and it and was really it was a heavy costume, but <laughs> but I really liked playing around as that. It was so cute. I love the squid. Was my favorite i don't know if i was in that co costume right away i might have been a i forget what else i did because i got brought on to do the costumes but then i believe somebody bailed in the oh no somebody got hurt do you oh, remember that no so the acrobats that were on the trampolines got hurt because they can't see and it's like the trampolines are up like 10 15 feet uh -huh. so i only did the squid once or twice in the night mm -hmm. i think and then i had to replace some of the trampoline guys because they had the music blasting and then the sounds and the light so no one could see you when they were bouncing on the trampoline and somebody got double bounced off 10 feet oh my god i had no idea yes yes i oh. remember that happening and i so on the last night i did the trampolines instead of the squid oh yes yeah and I, Peter I remember you were doing acrobats Manny, first mm-hmm well, actually, I ended up doing it after. I did the acrobats just like in the back, in the break room, just for fun. Uh uh. But um, Manny and Peter had like these butterflies or like moths that were supposed to be like up in the air. Uh -huh. And they had them like attached to their stomach. And it was like a giant stick that they had to hold on to. Mm -hmm. But the wind, do you remember the wind that year? Yes, was the wind was so bad. so crazy. Mm -hmm. They were getting, it was like breaking and all this stuff. So they ended up being there for like two to three nights without having to do anything and got paid, oh. I think. I, I'm not sure of exactly oh. what happened. Because they weren't acrobats, so they couldn't jump in on the thing. <laughs> but I did. Oh, I had no idea. Yeah. At this point, That's I was right. just modeling go-go dancing, you know? Um, mm -hmm. Like some like random but music But you had videos. a social media account too, right? You were like yeah. pretty big on social media. Yeah. Yeah. So I was still growing. And then I think like a couple of weeks after EDC, Yoshi randomly calls me and says, Hey, I'm filming this YouTube series. I am the main, you know, like it was a romance YouTube series. I'm the main like male mm -hmm. actor that was casted, but are the girl that's supposed to play my the main uh, female role, my girlfriend bailed on us. D yes. Would you be available to film? I, I remember that call and I was like, I have never acted before. I don't. You did so good. No, thank you. Uh, but I was also. Hmm. It never saw the light of day. It never saw the light of day because I don't know, corrupted footage. I don't know what happened, but it never saw the light of day. Oh, that, 
that 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 whole series got canned somewhere we don't know but in the ether in the ether somewhere out there in the interwebs in, in someone's hard drive i don't know and and then i remember that phone call and i was like i don't know if i should because it, like he was like he was very honest he's like look listen it's a youtube series a bunch of like you know just like like a bunch of the people filming behind the scenes producers we were all like they were all we were all college age students they were in college yeah it's not paid but you know like we really need help and i was like uh it was in the summer and i was like you know what fine fuck it whatever yeah i'll do it this is when i was living in orange county sure let's do it yeah and we filmed for how long was it it was a few weeks for sure yeah. i actually just pulled up a photo of us knocked out on set oh my god there's Yoshi, there's me, there's and Khalif. Oh, Khalif. Oh, Khalif when Khalif. he was not jacked yet. Yes, that's right. He was so skinny. And then and then he got massive. Yeah. Yeah, there's Vivian. And yeah. Oh, and, Vivian. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um Oh god, we were so young. Oh my god, that's my friends. Like I <laughs> went to high school with them. Oh. Oh wow. So, so we started filming for a few weeks and so at this house, we had, they, they invited Bart and Joe from JK to come and do like, a, right. like a, a cameo, like, Hey, can you come and be a part of this? And they showed up at this point. I knew who they were like, you know, like I've watched them in high school and mm -hmm. all that. So they came, I was like, Oh shit, it's those guys. That's where I met JK. And then a few weeks right, later, yes. they were like, hey, we need you to be in this video. And then that's how I became friends with them and eventually became friends with JK, which helped me grow my audience over the years. And it's all because Yoshi called me up one day and said, hey, uh, do you want to do this? So that that's what I'm saying. Like, it all started oh. my in front of camera, my on camera experience and all that started because of Yoshi. Oh, that's so sweet. That's yeah. I mean, but here's here's the thing. It could have been if, if it was somebody else, they may not have said, hey, come film this with us. There was something about you, Gina, that made people want to do that. That made people go something that sparkles there that made me go, hey, she could be great for this role. Aww. It's not like, you know, I, I didn't know too many people and it just we just met. But there was something that I was like, she could like crush it at this and at least try, you know, I'm going to ask and see what happens. Cause I asked, you know, other people too, but you were the one who was like, let's make this happen. Let's Aww. do this, you know? So Aww. it's, 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 uh, don't attribute it all to me. It's something that you have as well. Clearly. Aww. You're so sweet. I don't know. How, I don't know how to take compliments, but thank you. You're so sweet. <laughs> um, we, well, we can just deflect as usual. You know? Yeah. Deflect. No, 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 uh, I remember one of like the sweetest moments I had with Yoshi was during the filming of this. We had a moment where we had to slow dance, like where like we had to like ballroom oh. dance yeah. in the middle of a park, like a, a gazebo, like a giant gazebo in a park. And I was like, I've, I've never done this before. He's, and then Yoshi was like, I can teach you. I can teach you. Watch well, like you do this and you do this and you do this. Um, and you Even do though this I didn't step. know what I was doing either. It sounded like you did. And then, OK, so here I'm going to be very honest with you right now. So he taught me he taught me how to dance and we practiced it a few times. And while he was holding me while we were dancing, I, I finally got it right. And Yoshi, the, the 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 beautiful man that he is, like was holding me while he was dancing. Right. OK, Yoshi, I never told you this. But, um, uh -huh. so the, <laughs> what? okay, so there was this one moment, uh, when I finally nailed it while Yoshi was holding me and dancing and he whispered, he, <laughs> he got, he went at a girl and I was like, oh my, if you, oh. you talk to me like that again, I will send you all my nudes. I swear to God, how dare you speak to me like that? I have a praise kink. How dare you whisper that in my ear? He like, I nailed it the first dance and he went at a girl and I was like, oh, uh, okay. Okay. It was a very professional, respectful relationship. Okay. We were both actors. But this motherfucker 
said at a girl and I melted. I absolutely fucking melted. And then like, and, and then I remember thinking, huh, that awakened something in me. That's something new. You don't have to just cause I say so. I'm just- Gina. What the fuck was that? What? What? a girl, Gina. <laughs> No, that's the first time you realized that? That's yes, hilarious. That the oh my god, okay, so anyways, now we're all discovering in both of our chats together that that's the day that Gina realized that she has a praise kink and I didn't understand oh what god. it was at first. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and I was like, huh, that did something. Uh, all right, cool. I'm dead. Cool. Um, cool. She says cool. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. cool. So, and so, so that's like one of the memories that I have with Yoshi. It's it's always been respectful. Yoshi has had a girlfriend who is now his wife for the longest time. So mm -hmm. like, I never acted upon it. This was all a professional. Right, but I remember right. thinking, huh, that, that I might be into something here. Hold on. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta explore this. <laughs> we gotta explore, you know, in my personal life, we're, we gotta explore this. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like this was this was such a I remember that's like this so is... funny. <laughs> that's so funny because I remember around like I I mean I kind of still do mm -hmm. I, like at a boy or at a girl that's just like something that I say but that's so funny. Yeah, yeah. Because because that was one of the things I realized too about like working with you because before that I had already worked with somebody else and I remember having not such a great time uh, mm -hmm. uh doing like being their love interest for something mm -hmm. and 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 them i was just telling uh my chat this actually because i just did a, a romance movie and that i've had partners that kind of not respectful of me right. but more so which was worse is not respectful of sarah mm -hmm. which you know fucking pissed me off mm -hmm. um and and they would say stuff like oh pff, you know oh she doesn't do that oh she you know whatever like stuff like that oh my god that would like oh yeah 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 and this was like I'm like I'm supposed to be like playing your love interest and this is you know yeah like that's not respectful that's not that's not professional and I remember you being very respectful of that and being awesome in that sense Aww. so thank you for being that way yay yeah yeah, yeah. of course like look listen guys yeah. I only look like a whore okay. But I'm not. <laughs> I, I look like your friendly neighborhood whore, but I am very respectful. Okay. <laughs> that's funny. That's a because I, me too. I'm like the guy version of you. Mm hmm. I was talking to James about this yesterday, and yeah. James was telling me how, like, when he first met you, he was like tall, handsome, talented, fucking, you know, just jacked. I agree too. Like when you first look at Yoshi, you're like. He's a massive fuckboy. Yoshi has always been so respectful, like so sweet. I'm gonna tell you right now, baby, like Yoshi, you and I have been friends for over a decade. You look like a fuckboy yeah. back then, but mm -hmm, he's mm -hmm. actually the most I respectful, did. the kindest person. He's he's so nice. And like, I never got like a creepy vibe from him in any way whatsoever. He's oh. like, he's never like tried to hit on me. I've been in many sets where it's like, these guys are like hitting on me like, oh, it's hang out afterwards like no yoshi is uh, never yeah. he's very faithful very loyal um but yeah so so today that you know like i guess you learned something new one you help yeah very much start my career and two you awakened a new kink in me and a girl gina <laughs> and I, like you know you just... and then i also remember one scene where we were sitting in a restaurant um across from each other and we had a scene where we were supposed to argue and uh-huh uh-huh uh, you know, like a lot of times when you're acting, you kind of really get into it. And this was a yeah. this was a romance series, very, very like PG. And we were argue we we're supposed to argue about something. And I get really into my character and me being the angry girlfriend. I accidentally said something like, no, you and your fucking whatever. And then we had to cut camera. I like covered my mouth really quick. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm not supposed to cuss. Like I got really into it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the passion was good. The passion yeah, was good. The anger and the passion was there. That's funny. <laughs> You know what? We haven't said what the project was, but we've actually, AJ and I have talked about it. Mm -hmm. So for those of you who are listening, the project was actually called Red Roses. It was based on AJ's um, uh, whole album 
of Red Roses. Oh. So if you guys know who AJ Raphael, oh, you didn't know that? I had no idea. I, I was just told it was called Red Roses. I had no idea what it's based on oh. at all. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. So that's why I was singing all those songs. Remember? Do you remember the Ralphs scene? I remember we were singing? you singing. Yeah. So we did all of that because it was just whatever his music was. And we would play whenever it was me singing, it would be AJ's voice. Yeah, I remember that. Oh. And, and AJ was like, the AJ didn't even know this was happening. What? It was supposed to be. No, he had no idea. So when when Khalif told him later on, he was like, that sounds amazing. How do I watch it? And he was like, well, you can't because it never came out. And how did you not know about this? And he was like, I don't know. I just never knew about it. <laughs> so nobody knew wow. we were doing this project that I thought was a series for AJ. I thought we were making it for AJ. Oh, and wow. Turns out it, yes, I know. Huh. I know. Yeah, I kind of, uh, I was just told like, like whenever I asked about it, they were just like, everyone's just like, ah, oh, corrupted files, whatever. I'm like, okay, but I never got like a clear answer. Yeah. Oh, huh. Yeah. <laughs> I had no and clue. I, I never saw any footage <laughs> from it. I never saw anything. The only time I saw anything was when Khalif and I were in the, uh, the, 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 the Ralphs, the shooting, the grocery store stuff. Oh. That was the only bits of pieces that I saw. I didn't see any of our scenes, yours and mine. I, and me so too. May, maybe. Maybe it's for the better. Like, I don't think my acting was really up to par at that time. I feel like I was probably very theatrical because I was I come from theater. So kind of glad <laughs> I never saw no, it. No, I remember. It's not online. <laughs> I remember thinking like, oh, this guy's really good. Like, I was I was very intimidated by oh. you. Uh, you, you were oh always my. so kind to me, but I, I was very intimidated. Like, oh, shit, this guy actually knows how to act. Like, and I have never done this before. I've never acted. And oh, so you were good. You oh, were good. I remember you being incredible, and I was like, "Holy shit! I, I really got to, I, I really got to step up my game." But I, I remember, like, God, we filmed this for weeks and never got to see any of it. I've never seen the footage. Yeah. I don't know who has it. I would love to see it. So, like, I would love if we can all get together and just have like a, a just movie night, you know, and just like drink and yeah. eat and just watch the footage and laugh at ourselves. Like, I think that would be so funny because it would just be so cringy and just like uncomfortably oh, such squirming. <laughs> Yoshi, watching you has been such a remarkable experience watching your journey from this pink squid running around stage with me in Vegas and doing... Only you get to call me that. Yeah, you're, you're my little pink squid. Um, <laughs> and, you know, like from watching you from like the pink squid to acting in all these like like early on things to becoming hey gina i started a stunt class come join me in stunt class which i never did because i'm afraid of waking no, up early in the morning <laughs> uh to to blue ranger i remember seeing the video of you hugging peter that was surprised that was surprising you when his announcement of you know the whole blue ranger thing and i remember watching that video and crying to hey Yoshi, where you at? I'm in Indonesia. I'm in Bali. I'm in whatever filming. To to Dad Yoshi, you know, like hey. and, and whoever that biggest I meet, role yet. Yeah, and whoever that I've met that has known you for a long time, we we all sit there. And we're like, holy shit, Dad! Like Yoshi's a full on dad. Like he he has a child now. Yeah, it's it's no, it's been like that. Yoshi, it has been such an honor to watch you grow and become who you are now. It's it's been an incredible journey. Like I keep up, you know, like I see things on Instagram, I see things on Twitter, mm -hmm. and like Yoshi and I, we don't see each other often. Like we haven't seen each other in what like yeah. five years or so, but you know Probably we would have that lunch that we had in Glendale was like the last time. Yeah. I wanna say. Yeah. You know? We would have like these just these random dinners like, hey, I haven't seen you in a few years. Let's go get yeah. some eat. It was uh, a <laughs> yeah. Stonefire was when we went and then mm -hmm, Stonefire Grill was when mm -hmm. we had like the pasta and the steak and everything. And then maybe yeah. like a couple of years oh, after yeah. that, we met up at a boba shop to catch up what was going on. Like, I remember I was going yeah. through a breakup and and but Yoshi was always there to like just listen and talk to me like we oh. never saw each other often. But yeah, it's it's been such a remarkable journey, and it's it's so fun to think about where we started and how like we were yes. just kids. 
And I hope you understand that I feel the same way about you. Like, you know, you were one one of my first few friends in the industry. It was like you. Well, I guess I just I I know how to pick them because you and Akana, <laughs> both of you guys are fucking killing it, right? She was my first few friends in in the industry as well, and and you know, seeing the stuff that you do, like. Yes, I may have introduced you to JK and them whatnot, but I didn't get in there like you did because you had something about it that that that, that sparked their interest. Whereas for me, I I'm also as much as it seems like I'm very outgoing, it takes a lot out of me to be outgoing. <laughs> and, <laughs> I feel you. And and to like go to places over like you know and 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 um. That's why it's like I feel like I don't get into any circles, not really. And it wasn't until that like it's funny because you were one of the few friends that I made before I had this mindset change um, because of Osric actually, mm. and and he was the one who told me he was like, yeah, we have to build our own community because no one else is gonna do it for us. That's when I started doing all those classes and and making the 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 Asian actors group so that we can all keep in touch with each other and. And make sure we're all, you know, updated on the the latest auditions or, you know, just one event because because a, a role that we wanted go, went to a white guy. I don't know, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> you know, so um, it's it's nice to to know that you feel that way about me because I do feel that way about you. And and seeing you grow in the way that you have, like you helped me with my social media stuff. Do you know Twitch, like. You were the first one I collabed with when I started playing Call of Duty or like I started streaming at all. And you were like, get this, do it like that. And I was like, OK, that's what I'm going to do. So I appreciate you always taking the time to help me with what I don't understand and 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 helping uh, push in, in that direction. And hey, now I'm partnered. So we're, <laughs> we're working our way up, we're working our way up. I remember getting that minute. news. I was so excited. Um, yeah. I think that's what I, I really loved about you when I first met you is because you were always the person to help. You know, you were never like, oh, no, like people in entertainment are always like, oh, it's me. It's me. You know, I want to get this right. Like you were always the person to help, like, whether it be like me yeah. with with like when I first started off to, or like friends that even down to like, hey, no, we're going to go work out right now. You know, like like like. Johnny tells me all the time, like, yeah, I go to, I go over to Yoshi's house and I just work out there. And I was like, oh, that's cool. You know, like, Yoshi's always been yeah. the person to help and was always the person to help uplift people. And, and just, he was, he's very selfless. You're very selfless is what you are. And that's why I loved you so much when I first met you. I never felt any sort of like, this person's just trying to be friends with me for this, or he's trying to hit on me, or he's trying to get something out of me. Yoshi has always been, hey, yeah, I can definitely help you with this. Oh, do you need the, yeah, absolutely. Like it was never a trade, you know? Mm, mm, mm. And so that's, that's why I like, I, I, I really do push you as much as I can. I think you're a lovely human being. I, I think you are such an incredible person in our community like in our just our small acting our, our small acting circle i've it's i'm very grateful like you're one Thank of you. my most favorite people that i've met in my life and and when i when it first hit me like oh shit yoshi doesn't know that he he started my whole career i was like oh shit i gotta tell yoshi i owe him dinner or like boba <laughs> or something and it's it's I've, I've been actually wanting that. I've been wanting to tell you for like the last like few weeks when I figured it out so I'm glad Aww. we're able to do this yeah and then through you I think I met Sayori oh yes yeah yeah yeah, yeah so Sayori is now doing my Fem Tengen cosplay because and Johnny's doing your weapons right and Johnny's doing my weapons for Tengen also yes. and I've I've already like look you gotta be one of my husbands she, like oh, she's yeah, yeah, gonna yeah, have no, three for husbands sure. I'm already, I, I already told her uh, I gotta, I gotta get the uh, which one was it? The blue outfit? Any, any which one uh, you want? Any, anyone that you want? <laughs> any, any which one? Mm -hmm. Um, well, which one was it? Because Peter, Peter would probably do the one with the blonde. Makio. And then the mean one. Yes. <laughs> so if you're, yeah, one, if you're the let me purple, see. purple or the blue? I don't know. So Makio is Peter. She's the mean one with the blonde hair. Uh, the purple mm. one, you would be perfect for the purple one. That's the main wife. She's like the sweet one. Now we That's need a crybaby. Right, yeah. 
The crybaby's yeah. the the blue, right? Yeah, the crybaby's the blue. I don't know. I don't have a third man. Like the the whenever people M Manny's the crybaby. Manny. The first thing people asked me were, "Who's gonna be your husbands?" I like I promise you. Like, That's right. That's when you tagged yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first names that always pop up, Yoshi. It has to be Yoshi. Yoshi holds it down for our hot Asian man, hot Asian muscular Let's go, man. Baby. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, definitely Which Yoshi. I'm so excited. I mean, I, I don't know if you were here when I was telling them, but I don't know if you heard anything of it, but I booked my first like leading role in a romance film in the US. They're not like the character was supposed to be white. So I'm like, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, really? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So as much as I love the Asian stories and how we can connect to the Asian stories about our culture and all that, we need stories that are Asian people playing roles that are just people. You know what I mean? Like, there's no explanation as to why I'm Asian. I just am. You know? That's amazing. Congratulations. I don't want to flip out on camera too much because it might get too loud on my cam or on my microphone. But hold on. Let me just let me just hold on. Where's your DMs? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I'm 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 really excited about it. Um, it'll be coming out later this year. So. Congratulations! I'm so happy for you. Thank oh my you. god, that's amazing! I swear to God, every time you and I like catch up, you're either filming something incredible or like doing that and like out of the country and just. I'm so proud of you, Yoshi. Keep up. Thank you. I really am. Thank you. I'm proud of you. You freaking G4 badass. <laughs> Dude, it's... you're like blowing the f up. And G4, that's like that's we grew up on that. Mm -hmm. That was like. You know? Yeah, it's been <sighs> it's it. it's been it. a been a very interesting wild ride. I actually pitched to you for G4 uh early mm. on because Thank you. when I first got into G4, I told him like, hey, listen, this is what I can do. Like these are my strong suits. I do all the wild shit. Like Yeah. All the challenges, whatever food, like that's what I do. All the all the ridiculous mm -hmm. stuff. Like can I do informational game reviews? Sure, but I don't prefer it. However, right, right. I will do all the stunts. Speaking of stunts, <laughs> hey, what if we sent? <laughs> 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 and I tell the executives and the producers, I'm like, hey, so I have crazy things that I can make the cast do. I can teach them how to eat fire. I can teach them how to spit fire. But how, how about Ooh. what if we took a stunt class? Remember, I messaged you a while back. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, what if we just stuck him in a stunt class and you would be so proud of me, Yoshi. So I had to do a few like um, pre-taped bits where I had to punch someone in the face. and I learned how to punch like 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 <gasps> fake punch nice. someone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because one of our guys, like he he taught me how to do it. And I remember thinking, oh, my God, Yoshi would be so proud. I just learned how to punch someone. <laughs> kind of jealous that I didn't get to teach you, but, you know, it's OK. I I. I want you to be the person <laughs> to teach me all the wilder things, like how to get hit by a car. That sounds good. And kicking so up my legs say, and stuff. I actually, I actually stopped. I know. I heard. I, I, I stopped completely and my body hurts. I can't do it anymore. And, you know, people perceive you a certain way. Mm -hmm. Like I still teach like the homies because for some reason, if you're Asian, every audition is going to ask you to do action. So <laughs> I teach the homies, the but that's artist. it. But yeah, I, you know, it's been nice. Like this movie, zero action. Oh, like, nothing. Oh. Yeah, nothing. Like, actually, there's there's a part where there is some action and it's just the girls and I, I don't do anything oh. or I'm, I'm indisposed, which is kind of cool. I mean, you have you have precious cargo now. It's Daddy Yoshi now. And yeah, I say yeah. Daddy Yoshi this yeah. time, not in like a kinky, weird way. It's like actually <laughs> like... Like 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 dad like dad Yoshi. We can't even call him daddy anymore. It's it's dad Yoshi. This is dad Yoshi now. Like you you have precious cargo now. I understand it. I get it. However, I am also I regret not taking you up on these stunt classes that you were teaching when you were in like the prime and the thick of it. Mm, yeah. Well, just so you know, you are welcome to come over at any time. Use the gym and we can work on any moves you want, and I can <laughs> teach you all the things. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Come with Johnny, come with James. I mean, the, 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 the gym is literally open for anyone, even if I'm not here, like <laughs> the door's open. Thank you. 
Yeah. Yeah, of course. I, I'm, I'm really glad we got to have this conversation because I've been dying Me to tell too. you for Me a too. while that you, like, you, I, I, I owe you a Thank lot. Thank you, Dina. I really do. <laughs> hey, it, nope, nope, because it's the same. It's the same on both ends. You know what? Fine. You owe me boba. I'm ah, down for there that. There you go. Yes. Anytime. Okay. That's it. <laughs> and bring Silas and Sarah. I want to meet the BEB. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll talk some more, okay? All right, I darling. Have off. a good stream. Love you. Love you. Bye. bye. Wow. That was a really lovely chat.